Oh my god. What was I even expecting? Oh. There's a note here. Please don't hurt my fam. Oh my god. You took 758 gold from behind the counter. Nothing left. What's the point of taking money if there's no shop to spend it at? Oh my god. I can just take this shit. Well, might as well make the best use of it. Wait. Cinnamon bun, it's my own recipe. Eat it twice. Oh, that's the store description. I thought it was my own recipe. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. You can buy some of that. Uh. Probably better than what I have now. Let me check. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Wait, the bandage is a equipable and also a usable item? Hmm. Well, let's put some of the crap in here. I guess we can just eat the snowman when we need to. But I think for now we should keep the pie somewhere safe. Maybe until like around the end. Because that seems like... Where it'll be useful. Oh, hello there, little kid. Oh, it's merely a decoy. Is the entire town empty? The entire town is empty. Oh. Yo, everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Don't they know we've got Undyne to protect us? <sighs> oh my god. What did I expect? What did I expect? I don't know. Oh my god. What, what about the person in here? It's not melodic sounding anymore, my knocking. Hey, who's cooling down the core if you're not throwing the ice cubes down? Oh my god. See, usually, I wouldn't be fighting Papyrus this soon because I'd be exploring the whole town, but there ain't exactly much to look at here. Love, hope, and compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. Ah! Uh, did you see that? After all, humans have proven their souls don't need love, hope, and compassion to exist. Exactly what's happening right here. Same as ever. Can we go in their house right now? It's locked. So is their garage door. Already? We have to fight Papyrus already? Oh. My god. What's the worst way to go about this? So when I play pacifist, all right, let me let me let it play out first. Halt, human. Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you. I, the great papyrus, have some things to say. First, you're a freaking weirdo. Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place, the way your hands are always covered in dusty powder. They are? It feels like your life is going down a dangerous path. However, I, Papyrus, see great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. And me, I hardly have to try at all. <laughs> hey, quit moving! This is exactly what I'm talking about. Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. I see you are approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wowie, my lessons are already working. I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms. Papyrus is sparing you. <sighs> he 
He's such a cinnamon roll. Papyrus. What the fuck? Forgettable? Who the hell is thinking this shit? Really? Oh my god. Fuck. Okay, okay. I don't have a list of favorite Undertale characters because I love everybody. But if I did, Papyrus would be like way up there because he's just like a innocent little naive child. We're basically killing a child. Oh my fucking god, why did I hit it so hard? I well, that's not what I expected. But still, I believe in you. You can do a little better. Even if you don't think so. I... I promise. <sighs> that was really fast. Like... Sometimes you might expect it to be long and agonizingly dragged out. Like, Toriel's was a little dragged out. But that was just quick. Because that's how forgettable Papyrus is. Oh, let's not think about it too hard and move on. Why are you still here? Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Strangely silent. Oh. <laughs> you know what that means. We gotta begin killing again. There's no rocks. Right, right. Fox hater. Oh, two, two. Yes, I'll take it. And I think the old two, two is better than. Right, armor defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Oh, God. Does that mean that there are being rocks being thrown down here before? Someone was doing that manually the whole time? Is that why there were rocks here? I wanna check out this flower. I swore I saw something behind that- Okay, that's the secret. Uh... Is it bad that I'm slowly getting a little bit desensitized right now? Is that what happens to people when they kill too much? Um... Have we met- can we meet monsters yet? Because remember the save point was telling us we have to kill 18. I don't want to accidentally go past the area where we have to kill 18 before we move on. But so far it seems like there's no monsters, so I guess I'll just keep going. Oh, Papyrus won't report to her. Oh my god, when she finds out Papyrus is dead... Because you know how Undyne feels about Papyrus. She loves him so much. Still scary as ever. Why are you around? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! She was just standing there waiting forever! And then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! Please get out of here. Please get out of here. I don't want to have to... 
Hurt you later? Oh, this is all done! The puzzles! There's no puzzles! Why are they all done? Oh. What the fuck? Okay, that was weird, because it wasn't an exclamation mark, it was like a smiley face. The seahorse has a lot of HP, horsepower. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Okay. So I should stay up here then, because it's easier to dodge up here. Smells like an underwater barnyard. Well, goodbye, Aaron. Come on in, the water's fine. Uh... Ah! Shouldn't have gone hither. I'm killing you! Why are you playing with me? I'm killing you! Okay, we can start meeting monsters here, so maybe we should hang around this area a little bit. We don't need to even do any puzzles. Ooh. Are there any more monsters coming out here? No? Yes? And is it just me, or is our HP periodically getting refilled a little bit? I don't know. What, what am I expecting to achieve? It's not even that nobody picked up the phone. Can they stop using that goddamn phrase, but nobody came? Oh. 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 <laughs> Washua? How come they aren't exclamation marks anymore? They're like happy faces. Washua, this humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. You'll have to kill me first. Uh, Washua wonders if tears are sanitary. I don't know, that's a great question. Actually, could you please clean me? And then I will... I will leave. God damn it. God damn it. This never works out. This never works out. <laughs> I was hoping to leech some HP off that guy, but... Oops, I meant scrub a sub subs. Whoa, 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 I've never seen this one. Washa is revolted at its own wounds. Oh, it's trying to wash itself away. The blood. Dear God. I'm scared. A I'm a little bit scared. Normal enough. Normal enough. Okay. But all the puzzles have been done already. Okay. We probably shouldn't wander too far because we're gonna trigger a meeting with Undyne soon. You walk into Mold Small. Oh, they don't even want to be here. It's a different color, so it's a bit stronger now. I don't even remember seeing you before. I'll have to take your life. Slime sound. Ah! Goodbye! Oh, jeez. I guess I should hang around this area and try to kill them and... I'll... See you in a bit. And that was the last one. That was actually pretty interesting, because there was one left and two monsters appeared. Let me just quickly make sure. Very determined. Look, if that's not the face of a villain, I don't know what is. <sighs> I, obviously, I cut out this stuff because it's boring to look at, but I just want you to know. I just want you to know, this is very taxing on the soul. <laughs> Not because it's grindy, but 
having to stay in areas for 30 minutes at a time, listening to this music, if you can call it music, is just, it hurts my soul. I don't know what else to say about it. Oh yeah, I wondered why there was a happy face before, but thinking about it, it makes sense why there's a happy face. It's because we're enjoying killing them, aren't we? Uh, this might be a good time to revisit the prophecy stuff, so let me quickly have a look at this. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. Right, we never got to see that. And speaking of humans, so when humans die, they get to keep their soul even though their body is gone. So in the true pacifist, no, the neutral neutral path, when we fought Flowey, we saw the six human souls, all the different colors, but I don't think we ever saw Wellens' soul. Because it just says that humans get to keep their souls after they die, but do they eventually go away or do they just wander around? Could Wellen still be out there somewhere? Because in that case, that might put a new spin on Flowey's speech after we killed Toriel. And even looking in the mirror, it says, it's, it's me, Wellens. Sometimes I get confused. Is it talking to the me at the keyboard or is it talking about the first human child? I get the feeling it's meant to be confusing, so no use thinking about it too much, I guess. All right, Undyne. Not afraid of you. I'm a human. I'm infinitely stronger than you dumb monster, right? Something like that. Oops. There you go. You're no match for me. Get out of here, Undyne. You can hit me all you want, but it's not gonna make a difference in the end. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky! If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. I'm sure we will. Although it might not be something we should be looking forward to. You know, Undyne was someone I had trouble with, even on the pacifist path. So, I don't know how the fight with her is gonna go. Stuck to the table, but the mouse is not determined enough to come get it. Hmm, we're not even allowed to play with it. Sans is not here anymore. What does he have up his sleeve? He's probably planning something. Oh, we can hide this. Maybe we should take a candy out, since we're gonna probably fight Undyne fairly soon. No nice cream for me? Huh? Where are ya, nice cream guy? I didn't see you in Snowden either. 
Hmm. There aren't any more monsters here, right? There you go. I can feel my soul chipping away already. Every day I'm becoming more and more desensitized. First time I'm like, oh no, don't kill, don't kill Toriel. Now I'm like, whatever, let's just get this over with. <sighs> Flowey was right. Flowey was right, 2015. The more you get attached to people, the more you can get hurt. So how you don't get hurt is don't get attached to people. Just forget about them. We have to kill them now. So don't think too hard about them. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Mm. Even he's not here. Never noticed how lonely this walk was without him. <sighs> Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. Holy f Oh my god. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Toot. Sharon pretends to be a pop idol. Sharon, why don't you hum with me? You hum a sad song. Sharon follows your melody. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. You hum some more. Monsters are drawn to the music. What monsters? Suddenly, it's a concert. The hooded figure watches the commotion from afar. You hum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. The crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. You hum some more. But the constant attention. The tours. The groupies. It's all. Shiren thinks about her future. You know what, Shiren? I don't think you have one. Oh? Why is that part left? How come the bottom part was left? What was that? Is there still a puzzle here? Oh, there still is. I don't remember- I don't remember the code anymore though. It's been a while. I'll have to listen to the song again. Or, I mean, should we even be solving puzzles when we're busy killing people? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception, the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb the soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. So a boss monster, um, of the ones that we've seen, I think we've seen pretty much everyone, right? Asgore and Toriel are boss monsters, right? Because when you kill them, you can see the white heart break, but for everyone else, they just kind of fade into dust. And also, I, I think that was the turtle guy. The turtle guy mentioned that Asgore will never age because as a boss monster, if he has no child, then he will just never age. It's a statue. The structures at the feet seem dry. What's the point? 
What's the point? What's the point? Well, we can try it. Maybe we can kill the little dog. I don't know. You know what I just realized, too? They drilled this damn song in your head. So that you won't forget it when it plays again later. Isn't that terrible? You're carrying too many dogs. Okay, so last time I think we dropped it. Wait. A little white dog. It's, a fa it's fast asleep. Did we use it last time or did we drop it? Let's drop it. No! <sighs> little white dog. If I see you again, you're dead. You're gonna become dog meat. A little bit out of place to do on a genocide run, solving puzzles. Would have hoped that someone would have smashed that wall for me already. I don't need an umbrella. Yo! You can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't have hands. Let's go! Buddy, you really should get away from me. Man, Undyne is so cool! She beats up bad guys and never loses! If I was a human, I would... I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to the school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I'm gonna go beat up your un- Um, uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. That's exactly why she won't have a problem with hurting me. Because I'm not an innocent person. And when will you realize this? Stop following me, man. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see him die, right? Climb on my shoulders! Ow! Yo, try being a little less rough! <laughs> anyway, I'll look for another way through. Later! We don't care about him. We're just using him. <laughs> 